Laudate Deum is an apostolic exhortation written by Pope Francis eight years after his groundbreaking encyclical Laudato Si on care for our common home. Pope Francis felt called to write this update because, with the passage of time, I have realized that our responses have not been adequate while the world in which we live is collapsing and may be nearing the breaking point. The document is made up of six sections, the global climate crisis, a growing technocratic paradigm, the weakness of international politics, climate conferences, progress and failures, what to expect from COP28 in Dubai, and spiritual motivations. This video will focus on sections three to five of the document. In this part, Pope Francis summarizes why we have not made the necessary changes needed to address the climate crisis at an international level and makes suggestions to improve outcomes for the future. He also highlights the importance of grassroots movements to make lasting change. Reflect on the following quotes from this section and notice what words, phrases, or concepts speak to your intellect or to your heart. International negotiations cannot make significant progress due to positions taken by countries which place their national interests above the global common good. Those who will have to suffer the consequences of what we are trying to hide will not forget this failure of conscience and responsibility. We must move beyond the mentality of appearing to be concerned but not having the courage needed to produce substantial changes. Although the measures that we can take now are costly, the cost will be all the more burdensome the longer we wait. Let us finally admit that it is a human and social problem on any number of levels. For this reason, it calls for the involvement on the part of all. In conferences on the climate, the actions of groups negatively portrayed as radicalized tend to attract attention, but in reality they are filling a space left empty by society as a whole, which ought to exercise a healthy pressure, since every family ought to realize that the future of their children is at stake. To the powerful, I can only repeat this question. What would induce anyone at this stage to hold on to power only to be remembered for their inability to take action when it was so urgent and necessary to do so?